Howdy gentlemen, how's it going? Your favorite commissioner here coming at you uh, pre-recorded for another edition of the League 10 Recap. And this week we are recapping week 10 of the League 10. So, uh, without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Again, I apologize for not being able to get to this sooner, but uh, you know how, how life can be. It gets a little busy, gets a little crazy. But uh, yeah, with all that having been said, Let's take a look at the matchups from last week. And the first matchup that we're going to take a look at, sorry, internet's a little slow here in the truck, is uh, the matchup between Matt and Nick. And um, <clears throat> let's just say that Nick is struggling this year. Um, he is a, <clears throat> what would that be? He was a three-time champion, back-to-back -back champion, before we started the whole um, um, Empire League thing or whatever. And now he has the fewest points scored out of anybody in the league this whole entire year. <coughs> and uh, he also lost this week. So, Nick, uh, let me just adjust my screen here. Nick uh, gets himself down to 8th place or may remains in 8th place or is still whatever. Uh, anyways, Nick is in 8th place uh, with a record of 4-6 and six after last week's loss. Lost 108-141 to 141 to Matt, who is 6-4 and four and in 2nd place. Looking at the matchup, um, <clears throat> Matt had Patty Mahomes get him 36 points. Um, he had him, uh, Justin Jefferson get him 23 points. Um, had some good players on his team not do well, such as Amari Cooper and Malcolm Brown. But, uh, yeah, oh, Kelsey got him 20 as well. Sorry, forgot to mention that. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, 141 points is a respectable week. Um, most weeks that's going to win uh, win you uh, your matchup. And it did again this week. So congratulations to Matt. They like said six and four in second place. His magic number is two. Um, let me just make one more adjustment here. Sorry, I'm trying to quick do this. Um, so I wasn't super prepared. Uh, Nick, on the other hand, he had uh, uh, Deontay Johnson get him 20. Or sorry, not Deontay. God, I always say Deontay. To Ernest Johnson. Sorry, 23 points. I always want to say Deontay. Actually. I want to say Duke Johnson because Duke Johnson fucking wailed back in the day. Um, he picked up Ramondre Stevenson, it looks like, and did not play him. So not sure why you pick up Ramondre Stevenson if you're not going to play him, but whatever. Um, he had uh, Cordell Patterson uh, in there as one of his running backs who ended up getting hurt and I think is out next week. He's listed as questionable on Yahoo, but uh, game time decision this week, so we'll see. Um, but it sounds like Ramondre Stevenson's going to play this week. So, Nick, maybe a little uh, unsolicited advice for you. Um, as I always do, spend way too much time on the first matchup, mostly because that means I'm not ready. And, uh, yeah, moving on to the second matchup here, which is between Nate and Corey. Um, <clears throat> and I would call this an all-encompassing matchup because Nate is in first place and Corey is in last place. So, um, Nate is 7-3 and three and in first place as he has been most of the year. His magic number is 1. So still hasn't clinched a playoff spot yet, but I mean most likely will. Uh, Corey's 3-7 and seven and in 10th place. Nate wins 119-107. to 107. So not a super close matchup, but not a blowout either. <clears throat> Looking at the matchup, Nate had CeeDee Lamb get him 29 points. And that was it. Um, worth mentioning anyways. Weird. Nate has a guy in his team named Gay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's about all that's worth mentioning. And on uh, Corey's team, the only thing worth mentioning is his defense, Miami, 21 points. So kind of a, I would say a, uh, a lackluster, uneventful, whatever you want to call it, matchup. But, I mean, for, for Nate anyways, it doesn't really matter how you get it as long as you get it. And he did. So congratulations to Nate on his seventh win of the year. Um, looking at the next matchup, we have here between, sorry, internet out here is not greatest, Mike and Perk. Mike is 6-4 and four and in third place. Mike is on a four-game winning streak <clears throat> and has, I mean, I think he's the, the sneaky favorite to win this year. I I mean, I, I, I don't want to, you know, pump, his, uh, pump him up too much, but... He's got a pretty solid team, or at least his team has been performing pretty solidly so far this uh, these last few weeks. Like I said, Mike wins six, uh, 122 to 102, beating Perk. Uh, Mike is 6-4 and four and in third place. Perk 5-5 five and five in sixth place. And I'm sorry, I did not do magic numbers for Corey. Um, Corey's magic number from that last matchup is 5. Uh, Perk's magic number at 5-5 five and five and in sixth place is 3. 
Mike's magic number at six and four and in third place is two. Looking at the matchup, <clears throat> uh, Mike had Dak Prescott, 26 points, Cooper Cup, 23 points, Dalvin Cook, 21 points, and uh, he also had, um, sorry, looking down at his bench here, Devonta Smith got him 23 points on his bench, which obviously that doesn't matter. Um, Perk, on the other hand, Debo Samuel, 30 points, Mark Ingram, 21 points. <clears throat> he also has A.J. Brown, who is out for a couple weeks. Um, he also has Odell Beckham, who basically did nothing at for the Rams. And he lost another guy to IR, Julio Jones. So, I mean, if you look at his mat, if you look at Perk's lineup here, he's got Mark Ingram, Odell Beckham, Josh Gordon, Julio Jones. I mean, Perk's, Perk would have had an amazing team five years ago. Let's just say that. Um, but anyways, that's all that's really there to say about that matchup. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is, come on, come on, Ben and Mitch. And Ben, <clears throat> he might, he's he's four and six in seventh place. Uh, Mitch, six and four in fourth place. Uh, while I'm waiting for the slow Ben, like I said, uh, or sorry, Ben's magic number is four. Mitch's magic number is two. Um, I think Ben, I'd have to wait for this to load here, but Ben is got the third most points. Yeah, he's got the second most points. So despite him being in seventh place, he is scoring a lot of points. So there's a handful of us in the league this year that are, you know, we have decent teams. We're just not getting the wins when we need them. Um, ben gets a dominating win by 50 points this week against Mitch, 157 to 95. But, um, you know, he's kind of on, you know, he's on a tear to get that 50 bucks for the most points for the year. So keep an eye out for him. And being in seventh place, all he's got to do is string together a couple wins, and he's going to he's gonna be right in the, uh, the playoff hunt. Um, ben had Stephon Diggs, 30 points. Jonathan Taylor, 25 points. Ezekiel Elliott, 21 points. Um, weird. I'm sorry, getting text messages. <clears throat> Um, all of his players scored at least 10 points this week. So he had all double-digit players, which, I mean, like I said, he got 157 points. Um, his bench, he had nobody. I mean, nobody worth mentioning, at least, you know, from our uh, standpoint. Um, Mitch had Christian McCaffrey getting points, which I think that's the first time uh, he's got Mitch points past week three in maybe two years. So congratulations to uh, Mitch and Christian McCaffrey on, on doing that. Um, yeah. That's about it worth mentioning on that. So, uh, again, both these boys in the playoff hunt. But, as we all know, things can change at uh, at any minute. And the last matchup was uh, the matchup of the week. And that went to myself and Brandon. And uh, I know I normally say that uh, whoever gets a weekly low score, the guy who wins didn't win, they just didn't lose. But, fuck that, I won. Um, <clears throat> 91 to 132, uh, I am in... I'm in ninth place with a record of three and seven and a magic number of five. Brandon is six and four and in fifth place with a magic number of two. And I like, as I like to bring up multiple times, Brandon has the third fewest points scored. So again, just getting some cake matchups um, and getting some some wins that he. But when I say cake matchups, I mean the people he's playing are way underproducing. So whatever, take that for what it is. Um, matchup itself, I had 22 points from Josh Allen, 27, 28 points from Tyreek Hill, and 20 points from Hunter Henry. Um, he had a couple touchdown catches in that uh, Cleveland game. Um, had uh, A.J. Dillon, who Perk does not want, on my bench for 27 points. But, you know, why would you want 27 points on your team? <clears throat> um, on the other hand, Brandon had, <laughs> he had T.J. Hawkinson get him zero points, which, uh, yeah, I'm not going to dive into that. Um, and he had, uh, uh, sorry here, scrolling, 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 uh, Daryl Williams, get him 30, 29 points. Um, he had nothing on his bench worth mentioning. So, uh, Brandon, like I said, sixth and fourth, fifth place, uh, magic number of two. I have a magic number of five in ninth place. Um, these matchups next week are going to be interesting because, or this week are going to be interesting because, um, we have as many as five people that could clinch. Um, with a magic number of two or less. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to have a handful of people clinching. It depends on whoever ends up in seventh 
what their record is. So you cannot win, and Nate could not win and still get in. You guys know how Vader's number works. I don't need to uh, explain them to you. So, anyways, um, just barely in the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to cut it short. Uh, good luck to you guys this week. Hope you guys who are deer hunting had good luck this uh, these past couple weekends. And, uh, yeah, I got nothing else. Um, stay tuned, too. I will throw this out there. I know it's a little early, but um, I got more details coming. But I am planning on having a football party at some point in the next few weeks, tentatively looking at the first weekend of December when the Vikings play Detroit at noon. So um, if you guys don't have anything going on, that Sunday, keep that Sunday free. Um, as of right now, tentatively planning on having uh, people over for that. So, anyways, uh, good luck this week, and we'll see you next week.